Welcome back to Mongoose Limbs. This is the second video in our series, and here we're going to cover two of the five modules included in the base model. These are for moving and displaying inventory, as well as adding new samples. So we're back at the limbs now, we're logged in, and let's start with the inventory display tab. So you're looking at a visual representation of two boxes in your inventory. You can see that Freezer 1 has boxes that are 9x9, and the liquid nitrogen freezer has boxes that are 10 by 10. The limbs can support all shapes of boxes, pie shapes, circles, rectangles. So let's start at the top here. This is where the user selects which boxes they would like to view. The locations are broken out into components, freezers, shelf, rack, box, and then the cells within each box. So we can view a box in another freezer by selecting here. We can view a box in another shelf by selecting here. Pretty straightforward. Let's go back to the liquid nitrogen now. Let's look down into the display itself. So you'll notice that each cell has three rows of information inside it. In this version, the first row is the study name, the second row is the vial ID, and the third row is the sample type. And also the cells are color coded by sample type. So all the plasmas are blue, DNAs are red, etc. So moving samples. To move a sample, it's very easy. You just select on the sample you'd like to move and then double click the destination. You can move multiple samples at a time to different freezers. You can replace samples and you can also undo. Very easy. So that wraps up the inventory display and movement module. Let's move over to the new samples module. So all you do is place information for the new samples here and click submit. And for the location, you need to specify the freezer, the shelf, the rack, the box, and the cell into which you'd like the new samples to be placed. So that may take a while to type, so that's why we've developed the Choose Locations feature. So how it works, you select the cells for the locations you'd like to specify and click Choose Locations. So it says, hey, you've chosen to commit one location. We're going to take you to the Inventory Display tab. You find where you'd like to place the sample and click Commit. So here we are back at the inventory display. Notice we're in placement mode and it says new locations designated zero of one. So I'm going to select where I'd like the new sample to be and click commit. So you can see it places the location information automatically for you. And let's check back at the inventory display. It says, hey, you're going to have a new sample here. So there's all our information. Let's click Submit. So it looks like we are successful. Let's go look at our new sample in the inventory display. So there it is. There's your tissue sample. And obviously you can move this around just like the other samples. So I'd like to add a lot of samples now for two reasons. First, so you can see the accommodation for duplicate vial IDs and children. And also so you can see how easy it is to add large quantities of inventory to mongoose limbs. So I'll speed the video up while I copy and paste the information in. So note that I put some vials in this box, Freezer 1A41, and I put the rest in this box, Freezer 1A46. So before we submit, notice that we have some duplicate vial IDs here. We have a lot of 20MC 03s, a few 20MC 11s, 20MC 27. This is not acceptable. So when we click Submit, watch as Mongoose Coding notifies the user about these duplicates. So here's the first notification. It says, hey, we found a duplicate vial ID study pair. Study 4, 20MC 03. There's a few of these here. And so it's asking if the selected sample should be a child. If we click yes, Mongoose Coding will automatically add the child suffix to the vial ID to ensure that the vial ID is unique. So let's look at the volumes over here. The selected sample has a larger volume, so let's assume that the smaller volume samples are the children. So we're going to click no on the first one, and we'll click yes on these next three to make them children. So on these last three, you see the child suffix hyphen pound sign auto. That means Mongoose Limbs will automatically generate the child ID for these samples. Now the same thing's happening down here. We have three duplicates for 20MC11 
And again, the first one looks like it's the parent. So we'll click no, and then yes, yes. Same thing down here, 20MC26, no, yes, no, yes. So there, it looks like we were successful. So you can see with the duplicate vial IDs, we have multiple child suffixes now. So here's child number two, child number three, child number four. And that wraps up adding new inventory. So if you'd like to know more, send an email or give us a call and take a look at the next video. We'll cover sample management, auditing, and administration. Thanks a lot and talk to you soon.